Hey everyone, Lisa here. Over the next 20 minutes, I'll be reviewing the Monday.com mobile app and the features that you need to get started. Monday.com is a visual collaboration tool that builds team transparency and ultimately leads to productivity. The mobile app is a tool that allows you to manage your team and communication right from the palm of your hand. So let's jump into it. In front of me is a board. The board is the heart of Monday.com. Here is where you can really build and customize your workflow to meet you and your team's needs. Let's start with some terminology. At the top of the board, we have the board name. I labeled my board Project High Level Planning Webinar. I know, a mouthful and not that creative. Underneath our board name, we have our groups. Groups is where you can really start to build structure for your board. For me, my groups represent the different weeks, but groups can range from locations, to people, to clients, to teams. Really, the options are endless. Underneath our groups, we have items. My items are gonna be the different tasks that my team need to work on. And lastly, we have the bread and butter of money.com, and these are our columns. This is where you can truly start to customize out and build your workflow. This is gonna really allow you to see that transparency in regards to the tasks, along with a visual representation of status and timelines. But how did I get here? Let's take a moment and take a step back. I'm gonna click the back icon in the upper left of my board. This way we can start from the beginning. When you first enter into your account, this is the screen that you're going to be brought to. It is your board list. Here you can see all the boards that both you and your team have created broken out into three main categories. We have our public boards. These are viewable to everyone in the account and your shareable and private boards, which offer an extra level permission. Along with this, we can also change how this view looks. Click on default order and click on recent. This will allow you to see the boards that you have used most recently. And this is great if you're on the go and need to quickly make some updates. But since you guys are new to the account, let's show you how you can create your first board. Just click that blue icon in the bottom right of your screen. This is going to bring you to your template store. Here you can see a list of pre-made templates or you can choose to start from scratch. Today, I'm gonna choose that project planning template. When you choose a particular template, it's already gonna create the columns and the groups that you need to get started. But here's that great customizable piece I was talking about earlier. To make any changes to your columns, just click the column name and you'll be brought up with a list of actions. You can choose to collapse columns that are not pertinent for your particular view, edit the name of the column, or delete it completely. To add a column to the group, you have two options. You can either scroll all the way to the right and click add column, or we can click that blue plus icon in the bottom right of your screen. With groups, you also have that same ability to customize. By clicking on the group name, you can also go ahead and edit that name, delete it completely, or collapse it. Along with this, we can also go ahead and add a new group. Scroll to the bottom of your screen and you'll see that add group icon. Or again, we can click on that blue icon and add a group from there. I wanna be able to see all the tasks that we have for next month. To do so, type in that group name, choose the color and click create. It's as easy as that. Now that I've added this particular group to the board, it doesn't make sense to be under my completed tasks. I'm gonna go ahead, click it, drag and drop it. Now that we have a better structure, let's go ahead and really dive into those columns. To add a column, I'm gonna go back to that plus icon, new columns, and from here, you're gonna be brought up with a list with the eight most used columns within the mobile app. I'm gonna go ahead and add that date and text column because I wanna discuss that later. As you become more advanced on the Monday.com mobile app, I really recommend checking out the See All. Here, you'll be brought to our column center and can choose from a wide variety of columns to really customize that workflow. I recommend giving it a look. Now I'm gonna jump into those columns that we have on the board and talk through them a little bit further with you guys. First, we have that people column. 
This is where you can assign accountability and see who is working on what for resource allocation. To add a team member to an item, just go ahead and click that little person icon and choose the team member that you'd like to add. Click save and it's done. You can also go ahead and add in multiple team members to the same item. Along with that, if you need to invite guests, scroll all the way down, click invite new team member by email, type in that team member's email and click invite. That team member will get an email where they can log in directly to your account. Need a visual way to see where your items are at? Well, that's where the status column comes into play. My status columns have already been labeled as design, development, and approved because we use that template together. But if I wanna go ahead and customize this even further, I can click into one of those status values. It's going to bring up the three default, done, working on it and stuck, but I have the option to add and edit any of the labels. If I just click the option, I get 20 different color options that I can add on that particular column. I'm gonna go ahead and click in, and I'm gonna add a status value for contacted. That way I can really go ahead and see what my team members are working on. Once I'm done typing, I click save. Next, I wanna be able to see a date range for each one of the items on my board. This is also a great way for me to really manage out my resources accordingly. To do so, just click into the timeline, set your start date, your end date, and click save. Now you can see not only the items, but how long those items are set to be worked on. Next to my timeline, I have a date column, and I really want to use this as a way to represent my deadline. With a date column, not only when we click in can we add a date, I can also associate a particular time for that particular item. So maybe my items are going to be meetings, I can associate a time for that meeting so I know exactly where I need to be and when. Next to my deadline column, I have a progress column. A progress column is a great way to see where your items are in regards to their status, along with seeing where the group is in regards to status. So for me this week, I can see that my status is at 67% done. I know where I need to assign my additional team members in order to get my work complete and who may be overbooked. Lastly, we have a text column. The text column is a really great way to put communication at a glance right on a particular item. So maybe for a particular task, they need to know to reach out to a specific person every day at a specific time. Go ahead, add it right to the text column. Now that we've built out the structure for your money.com board, let's talk about a key feature that is great for the money.com mobile app. And that is the ability to communicate in context. Are you emailing, have a lot of text messages and meetings that are unnecessary just to see the status of what's going on with your team? This is where the update section is gonna come into play. Let's go ahead and click on the communication bubble on any one of our items on our board. It's going to bring up our updates field. If we click that blue pencil icon, we're gonna be able to write our first update. So maybe I wanna reach out to a particular team member and ask them why they're stuck on something. I can click the at mention I can either at mention everyone on my board or that specific team member, and I can write my update. Hey, are you stuck? Once I go ahead and write that update, my team member will be notified. What's great is that I can see if she's viewed it and they can also go ahead, like it and reply to it right from there. If we jump back into the updates, we also have the ability to write a checklist. This is great if you have subtasks for a particular item within your board. Next to our updates field, we have our columns field. And this is gonna give you a card view of the item on your board. This is great when you're on the go and need to make a quick update to one of your items. Here, you can see all the different columns associated with that particular item. And you have the ability to update it right from here, along with even add a new column right from this view. So we have structure, we have the ability to communicate right in the palm of our hands. Now let's go ahead and take your workflow to the next level. I'm gonna show you how you can actually zoom in and zoom out on your board view. If we scroll down to the bottom, take your index and middle finger and just push them together, you're gonna be able to zoom out on your monday.com account. 
This is great if you wanna have that ability to see additional columns and groups within a single view. To get a more condensed view, we can click the tornado icon in the upper right of the board. It gives us the option to filter out by all the columns and groups on the board. This way you only need to see what's relevant for you. Maybe I only wanna see the tasks assigned to me for this week that are working on it. I can go ahead, filter it out and see it right from there. Next to the tornado icon, we have our magnifying glass. Here's where you're able to search the board. Wanna see a specific task on the board? Just type in the task name and you'll be able to see all the tasks associated with that particular search. Above the filtering capabilities on the board, we have an ellipses icon. Here, it gives you additional functions for your board. I can either choose to add board subscribers, see the activity log on my board, collapse some groups, or I can also go ahead and contact us. This is a great way to reach out to the support team with any questions that you may have in regards to the monday.com mobile app. Now that we've walked through a board and the communication, I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of the board and show you additional features within monday.com that are really important as you're getting started on the mobile app. Let's go ahead and click the back icon in the upper left of the board. From here, I'm gonna click the hamburger menu that's in the upper left. This is going to bring up a list of different options that we have and features within the monday.com mobile app. The first is the inbox. This works like a social media feed. Here is where you'll be able to see all the updates from all the boards across your account. As you go ahead and look through your updates, you have the ability to thumb them up, reply, or you can even click that check mark once you've reviewed it. If by accident you've clicked the check mark on something that you still need, just click that undo button. Along with this, we can even write updates directly from your inbox. Maybe you're out, you're on the job, and you need to write a quick update for an item that you're working on, but you don't want to go to that particular board and search for it. Type in your item name, select it, and write your update directly from here. This way you can save additional clicks. If we look to the upper right of the board, you will see an icon that allows you to go ahead and filter the board. Here, you can choose to see the updates from just the boards that are relevant to you at that particular time. And lastly, you're gonna see what looks like a coffee mug. This is your My Week. Here is where you're gonna be able to see all the tasks assigned to you for that particular week across all your boards. This is great for having a to-do list. It starts off by showing you anything that's overdue from the prior weeks, and then it breaks it out into what's due this week, along with what's been done. If I click into any one of these tasks, I can update it right from here. Now let's go ahead and back out and go back to our hamburger menu again. Underneath our inbox, we have our notifications, and this is gonna let you know everything that you've been tagged in across all your boards. If you have a concern about a quick update that you might have been tagged in, but you don't remember what board it's on, come here and you can see everything in the most recent order. When you click on any one of these notifications, it will turn it white. This way you know what you've seen versus what still needs to be seen. Underneath our notifications, we have our users. This is your whole team that's located within your account. If we click on any one of our users, it's gonna bring up their profile. What's great is right from here, we can either email or call as long as they set up their email and their phone number. Now, I wanna jump into our picture icon located in the upper right of that hamburger menu. This is gonna bring up your account settings. From here, you can either go ahead, switch between accounts if you have multiple money.com accounts, invite team members, change your language preferences. We also offer the money.com mobile app in a couple of different languages and turn on those push notifications that I referenced earlier. If you wanna be notified directly from a push notification when someone tags you in an update, this is how you do it. And lastly, I'm gonna talk about our search everything feature. This is a very powerful feature that allows you to search across all your boards. So if I click on that magnifying glass, I can go ahead and type in my name. It's then gonna load and pull up everything that is assigned to me 
across all of my boards. This is great, especially as your account grows. You can search on everything that's working on it, stuck, or on a particular tag that you may have across multiple boards. So there you go. Now you know the basics and you and your team are able to get started on the monday.com mobile app. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to use that contact us feature to reach out to our 24 hour support team. Thank you for trying out monday.com and have a great rest of your day.